Hello there guys, and welcome back to Scottish Hill Talking. Um, it's been at least two weeks since my last upload, but that's purely because the last week's been a wee bit hectic, been all over the place, literally. Um, so last Friday, um, as I said in the previous podcast, I was going on a hike, a, a, a night hike with the scouts, which was my first night hike. Um, what we did was, me and Liam, we went down to Everton, about one o'clock we went down, set our tents up, so meaning when we arrived to help the, with the kids later that night, we'd be able to focus on them and give them a hand helping their tent, getting their tents up. Um, this was the first time for me using my new tent, which is it's a best sport camping tent, uh, it was a lightweight backpacking tent, it's actually pretty warm <laughs> um, like if it was torrential rain I probably would have got soaked to try to set it up because it comes in like two separate sections so like you have the under inside sort of casing and then the outside casing with most tents you you would be able to just keep the two of them together and fold them up but with this one because the poles go through the middle rather than the outside you have to kind of set them up separate um, which is a bit of a pain in the arse, that's the only real criticism I've got of it, but like other than that, it was a real, it was a nice sleep, um, better than the last time anyway, because I wasn't sleeping on a hill this time, um, learned from my mistakes. Uh, yeah, but so, on the hike, uh, what we did, we started at Waterman's Cottage, um, which I'm sure I've talked about in the past, which is where we started a, a hike we did with the Scouts last year, um, I believe Liam was also on the podcast talking about that, um, we didn't go the same route, so what we did, we started on Mort- at Mortimer's Cottage and went the flat route of the, the Goonet Cup. Um, it was a nice, it was a nice night, um, it got really, like, we set off about half seven, and it was pitch black already before we'd even started, um, but obviously the closer, the further away, should I say, we got from the actual artificial light of the, of, like, the town, the darker it got, it was brilliant. <laughs> Um, I've got some photos I've put up on Instagram of like the, the view that we had, we were able to see Inverclyde Royal Hospital which is where I'm going to be starting soon, um, as a nurse not as a as a patient, um, but yeah, um, saw, saw, saw the, the, the town in a different sort of perspective for once and it doesn't look as bad as it usually does. Um, but yeah, it was a it was a great wee hike. It took us about give or take maybe four hours to get there because by the time we got there it was about half eleven. We got the tents up rapid. Everybody got some any lentil soup and some hot chocolate thanks to Liam's mum for making the, the lentil soup for us. Um, but it was magic. Like uh, no real incidents on the on the hike. Some of the kids were obviously kind of tired towards the end and moaning about having to carry all their stuff. Um, but like everybody made it, everybody made it relatively harm free. Like we did have a couple of slips on like the the gates where we had to jump over. But apart from that, like nobody got seriously hurt, nobody got injured. It was magic. There was no paperwork to be filling out, so even better. Um, but yeah, it was a great, great wee hike. Um, as it's, so that on that day, going with my. Scottish Charity Air Ambulance, like 100 miles in October challenge, that day got me up to, where are we? So at that point I was up to 172.3 miles, which was, which oh, as you can see I'm already over the target. Um, If you're looking to donate I will put the links in the description of this one on YouTube and then also if you ever, if you go onto the Scottish Hill Talking Facebook page it will be, there's a link to the charity there the charity will clo- like the donations will close on the 31st at midnight so i've got, got another three days after uploading this to hopefully get some more donations in but thanks to everybody who's donated already and um, you're helping out a charity that means a lot to me and a lot to my friends as well um but yeah so going with the 100 miles challenge it's been really surprising how many miles I've been able to do in the space of a month. Um, I thought a hundred was going to be a, going to be difficult, but as of today, which is the twenty ninth, I am currently sitting at two hundred and nine point nine miles, so I've doubled the target. 
for exercise and that is purely because I cycle to work back and forth every day um, and that averages out about anywhere between 7 to 8 miles depending on what sort of routes I go. Uh, I try to mix it up to try and give me a bit of variety and make sure I'm not going the same route every single day but it's really surprising how much I've, I've been able to do so quickly. Um, but yeah, it was, it's was. it been a great week. Um, I had most of the week off as well. Um, like, cause I, I was off Friday for the hike and then I was off Saturday because obviously we're still, we were camping still. I had to work Sunday, which I was absolutely knackered. And then Monday night I had scouts as well, which was where we did um, some climbing st uh, prep like so we were showing them how to relay and all that and or belay sorry um and then we also did like a a, uh, a treasure hunt out in the fort out in the woods next to the next to the hut where we had playing cards all over the dark so there might be some playing cards still kicking about down there but it was a good wee laugh um and also, like on the on the hike on Friday, we had some we had some good be laughs with some of the kids as well. I, I brought some glow sticks for them, and they were all kicking about with them. And then I obviously pulled out my Star Wars glow stick because um, I was like, "Your guys is cool, mine's is better." Um, but I made the fatal error of forgetting to charge the bloody things. So only had about twenty seconds worth of battery in the whole night. It was raging. Um, but yeah, remember that for the next time as well. Um, but yeah, it was a great wee, great wee day, a uh, great wee night, sorry, um, yeah, like, and it was a lot less stress-free than, or a lot less stress, less stressful than the last hike, because this wasn't my first one, and it wasn't my first camp as well, um, but I think it was truly because it wasn't a full weekend as well, so I was feeling a lot less mentally drained towards the end of it, um, not that that's a bad thing, but like obviously it was it was good to kind of go out camping. Helped me like relax a wee bit. Gave me a good wee night to celebrate because the the Friday before like that Friday was the day that I handed in my notice at my current job. So I was feeling really. I'm 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 in both sort of mindsets of I'm really excited to be starting something new, but I'm also absolutely kicking it um, because it's something new, but. I'll oh, hopefully they not bad and you might never know if he's ever in trouble you might end up seeing me at some point god help you um but yeah like it's it's a start in the career that I want to do and I can't wait I really can't um try to think what else have I got coming up uh, I'm not sure how regular I'll be able to go out hiking in the next few weeks obviously because starting a new job and whatnot. I'll try and get another one in. I know I've got possibly got one on the twelfth, um, which is my last day of work. Um, I could be doing the Cubs night hike as well, so I'll possibly be doing that with them. Uh, I don't know. I, it's not the same route, so it could. It's the route that we took last year during the day with the scouts, but we're going to do it at night with the Cubs, and hopefully we won't have too many accidents. Um, but I can't wait for that as well. Um, hopefully that'll be a, a good wee night. Um, but yeah, like mentally feeling a little bit here and there. Like I'm not exactly a hundred percent, but I'm not. I'm not really bad either. Like it's just I'm more kind of stressing out about the new job but, and stressing out about leaving my old job. But I can't wait. Can't wait. Um, hope everybody's having a great October, hope everybody enjoys Halloween, don't go too mental on the sweets, um, and yeah, like, give us a follow on the Facebook group and Instagram, I don't have a Twitter yet for us, but uh, if you want me to get a Twitter started, let me know in the comments, um, I'll also upload this to YouTube and it will be on Spotify as well, and all the other podcasty kind of places. Um, Thanks for listening and thanks for just kind of following me through this 100 miles challenge. Um, even though it's technically become a 200 miles challenge. Um, but yeah, like, thanks for listening and get out there, get out in the hills. See ya!